I know and you know that you are capable of so much more if you could just break out of that pesky comfort zone. What's up my Valentines? Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I break out of my comfort zone so that you can do the same. Using these tips I've been starting new ventures, agreeing to do public speaking, running meetings. It's getting scary but life is for living so let's get you out of your comfort zone and living your best life. Stay tuned. Tip number one is to feel the fear and do it anyway. We have somehow brainwashed ourselves or been brainwashed into believing that the moment we fear something, it means abort mission. Like we can't do something and feel scared simultaneously. I believe to an extent fear is necessary. You know, it's an emotion that is like a guidance system that lets us know when we're approaching danger. But somehow we've managed to drag this fear emotion with us through unnecessary situations to the extent where we say, no, can't do that, I'm too scared, can't do it. I can only do something if I feel fearless about it. It's like saying, for example, you know what, I'm really, really tired today, so therefore I can't stay awake because I can't be awake doing things and feel tired at the same time. That would obviously be ridiculous, or it's exactly the same with fear. You can do it and feel scared the whole time, just like you can stay awake and feel tired the whole time. Drop a comment below and let us know what your fear is, because I think it would be really powerful if everybody could see that everybody else also experiences fear and that they're not alone, you know? Which brings me to tip number two. So you've accepted that fear is an emotion that you're probably always going to feel and you've accepted to yourself that it's okay to do something whilst feeling fear okay now how do you actually do it because it's difficult to go from thinking something to just doing it so that's where this tip comes in and it's called the five second rule this concept was created by the amazing Mel Robbins. In fact, she wrote a whole book on the concept and I will link that down below for you. So definitely go and check that out. This rule is an absolute game changer because like I said, you can think something but doing it is a whole other thing. There's a big gap between thinking and doing, right? So, in, and if you don't have any kind of momentum built up, it can be quite difficult to just jump into doing. So that is where this rule really, really changes the game. It's very simple, all you do is count down from five to one, and you tell yourself, by the time I get down to number one, I'm gonna do whatever it is that I'm trying to do. So let's say, for example, you want to send a really risky or scary text message to someone. Let's say you're trying to ask someone out on a date and you're really scared. If you implement the five second rule, it's okay. The message is ready to send, I'm gonna count from five, by the time I get to one, I have to press the send button. Why this is so powerful is because it instructs your brain to actually take an action and it gives your brain a deadline. It's very, very, very powerful. Please, please try it. My third tip is to do the little uncomfortable things first. So let's say the big thing that you're really scared to do is to go and join some kind of social club. Maybe you have a bit of social anxiety or you're just really shy and you get really scared at the thought of making new friends. That's quite a big step to go from that to just signing up to this class and walking in there and just starting to talk to strangers. You know, that's quite a big gap. So then what I would say is start with the small uncomfortable things that occur in your day-to-day -day life. So for example, let's say you're standing in the line at a coffee shop and there's someone next to you and you really like their shoes. Compliment them on their shoes, break that barrier and be the first one to initiate a conversation. Just say, hey, I really like your shoes. That might sound silly, but little things like that, it's stepping a little toe out of your comfort zone. And each time you do that, a, you're giving yourself more confidence to break your comfort zones and B, you're actually extending your comfort zone each time. My fourth tip is to reward yourself. Every time you break a big comfort zone, make sure you reward yourself. I mean, the feeling alone of knowing that you pushed yourself and you broke out of your comfort zone and it went so much better than you expected because it always does. It never goes as bad as you think it will. That feeling alone is a big reward in and of itself. But reward yourself. Run yourself a lovely bath. Take yourself to the spa. Treat yourself. Somebody has to be your cheerleader. If you don't have people around you who tell you well done when you break your own comfort zones, tell yourself well done. Be your own cheerleader. It will just motivate you to keep on breaking your comfort zones. 
And my fifth tip is to stop caring what others think of you. I personally feel like a lot of our fear comes from worrying what others will think or, you know, embarrassing ourselves in front of others. It all comes from other people, a lot of it. And I heard this in a podcast once and it has stuck with me ever since because it's so true, which is that, you know, these people that you're worrying about, you know, about what they're going to think of you, they are not going to be here in a hundred years from now, you know. Just like you, they're not going to be here. And another thing, this day and age that we live in is so fast paced. Just look at social media and you can tell every week there's a new topic trending. Every week there's a new viral celebrity that everyone's ridiculing, you know, and then they move on and they don't even remember them a week later, you know. So even if people do have something to say about you when you break your comfort zone, by next week you're old news, honey. No one's going to be thinking about you anyway. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. All the that matters is what you think of you because you're the one who has to live with you you are in your own mind you have to go to bed with yourself every night and wake up with yourself every morning you know it's only your thoughts about yourself that really matter in the end think about how proud you're going to be of yourself when you break your comfort zone even if you fail at whatever it is that you're scared of that's only a positive it can only be a lesson or a blessing there are no losses try to remember that if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and as always if you want good vibes don't forget to subscribe until the next one i wish you health wealth and high vibrations